no, I dreamed of of living in that house. You know which? Actually, though, you know what my favorite show was back then. You're was, gonna say Webster. Oh my God! You just read my mind. You're, you just I know read what, my mind. You know what? I, I I could see the wheels turning because you were gonna say, oh, the the Silver Spoons house was amazing, but you know what house was even more amazing because they had a clock that you that revealed the secret passage that you could oh go my God, down that if was you're like a little the coolest thing in the world. I wanted a dumb waiter in my house so bad when I was a kid. Yeah, and and like uh, you know, adoptive parents who don't really pay that much attention to you, so you can go crawling around in like crawl spaces and and nooks and crannies of the house and get lost. Like they don't yeah. they don't care. He's a, he's a retired NFL player. What does he give a crap? Exactly. He's probably got brain damage anyway. You know. Hey man, he's 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 dead. He just died, man. Show some respect for Alex Karras. Yeah, but I mean, I'm up. just I'm just saying all these all this concussion stuff happening right now. He probably had some kind of damage in his brain. Oh, he's, he's, he probably certainly did, but let's just, for the sake of argument, assume that he was a, his character was just a, not the greatest parent, because his son is getting off into you know, all these adventures because really not paying that much attention to him. Yeah, and what's the whole deal with the whole man thing? Like, really weird. I, I think that's, I mean, yeah. is that, is I, Am I being too sensitive, or is that a little bit racist? <laughs> well, he did, okay, he so he didn't call George Sir. If it was Ma'am and Sir, that's fine. But but you call him George. You know, George is the father. Ma'am was the mom. Ma you know what? I just think it was that short haircut that she had. She was very militant. She was very like uh, um, not. She was not very motherly. She was just kind of like hands off. Okay, I've got an. Like, she's the type of person that, when in introducing her family, she would say, oh, this is my husband, George, and this is my adopted kid, Webster. So I got a feeling that he wasn't so warm towards her that he would, he would you know, call her by mother or mom or, or anything like that, but ma'am. Kind of just to stick it to her, you know? And was it, was it ever established where he was from before they got him? I, you know, it's been so long that I can't, I couldn't tell you. Like, I, I could, I mean, I could buy that maybe he was from the South, and, you know, they're a lot more proper in the South, so he might just be trying to show respect and, and manners by calling her ma'am instead yeah. of, like, you know, whatever her name was, like he did George. Right. I don't even know what her, her name was. Yeah, I don't either. Tough luck, man. Um, but, you know, uh, the, the thing I remember most about it, it was that it was just, they were like, different strokes took off. So let's just take the exact same scenario and put it on a different channel. Let's find another another cute African-American kid who has who has a kidney well, he, problem. But he wasn't a kid, though, was he? I mean, he was he was older at the time. I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't like, an adult yet, but he wasn't, like, a seven-year-old kid like they were trying to pass him off as. Oh, no, no. I mean, he had to not. be at least a teenager at that point, didn't he? He, he, I think he was 37 when they started the show. 